in the arid and semi-arid regions of Kenya, water is the most precious resource. Tharaka in eastern region has been greatly affected by climate change. Here, we are drought and erratic rainfall threatens community livelihood, Water School Africa, in partnership with a local community-based organization, Rural Initiative Development Program, REDEP, have stepped forward to bring practical solutions on how to increase water holding on the farms and landscapes. By working hand in hand with local farmers, Water School Africa, in partnership with REDEP, has introduced simple yet transformative farming techniques that increase holding water in the landscapes that will turn dry struggling lands into productive flourishing farms. These farming techniques will help increase water retention on farms and thus conserve water, save the soil and thus boost soil health and agricultural productivity. Kwa majina la ito Florence Jiri, kutoka kwa kikundi cha Kanini Kega Self Health Group, hapa tuko kwa one of the farmers, tumefunzo wa mambo ya kuconstruct water retention structures, tumefunzo wa kutengeneza mitaro terraces, hizi mashimo, zinaito wa saipit, one of the most effective methods used by the farmers to hold water on their farm is the use of zypids. Zypids are small strategically placed holes dug into the soil and filled with compost and organic materials. These pits capture rainwater, directing it to the roots of crops planted in them. In areas where rainfall is scarce, every drop counts. Zypids conserve moisture and allow crops to grow where they will otherwise wither. Majina naitwa Monica Karegi kutoka kikundi ya utumi. Mimi nimefunzwa kuhusu masomo ya kulima na organization inaitwa Rindep Kenya wenye wamenifunza kuchimba mashimo yenye tunaita zypit. Ndio sasa nimechimba 56 of them. Nimepanda skuma. Hiyo skuma naitumia kama mboga nyumbani kwangu. Mimi kwa majina naitwa Njuria Kagendo Mugao kutoka kikundi cha Kanini Kega Shop Elokungu. Tulienda tukafundiswa mambo ya na Linde ya kuchimba mtaro Sunken Bend na Saifit. Sara na Nigashere kutoka kikundi ya Kirara na, na nimelima sukuma kwa Saifit na Sunken Bend. Na imenisaindia sana, nimepata fedha, nimepata hata kukula, ninakula. Uh, imenisaindia, pata pesa mpaka ya kupereka shure. Nachimbua two feet down. Toka hapo pia unatua ura mchanga wa njuu na waka kando. Uwa chini pia unawaka kando. Harafu unarulisha ura wa juu tena huko chini. Harafu unaongeza manyua. On sloped land, where water runs off quickly and erodes precious soil, terracing is a game changer. By building flat step-like platforms along the conduits of the land, farmers are able to slow down water flow, giving it time to soak into the soil. Terracing not only conserves water, but also prevents soil degradation, transforming hillsides into productive fields. The conserved water is available for the crops in the lower parts of the farm and or eventually percolate to raise the water table and eventually into springs and streams. Another technique that has changed the way farmers manage water is the creation of cut-off ditches and sunken beds. Cut-off ditches are dug across the slope to hold runoff water thus reducing its speed and preventing soil erosion within the farm. Majina ito wa Pate Ekinoti. Mimi ni mocha wa kikundi cha Mama Safi. Mekunzo wa mambo ya kuchimba hii mitaro, kusuhia maji. Katika shambago kiwa na mitaro, kusuhia maji mzuri. Sangen beds are an innovative agricultural technique that involves creating a planting area that is below the natural level of the surrounding land. By lowering the bed, farmers can take advantage of improved moisture retention as the surrounding soil acts as a natural barrier, reducing drainage and allowing water to accumulate, thereby sustaining crops during dry spells. Moreover, 
Sangin beds are filled with good organic soil and create a microclimate that can significantly influence crop growth and yield. From there, Manjina na ito awiristi kakagendo. Chiarende kwa kanini kega. Self help group. Eh, tukwa hapa kwa 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 fama. Tumefunzo na rindep. Mambo ya kulima. Kushimba mitaro. Kushimba side pit. Na sun cane bend. Kwa hapa tumimesimama hii ni, ni sun cane bend. Tume, tumefunzo avyenye itatusaindia. Tukusa chakura ambazo. Atuwezi tukapanda kwa shamba mzima. Tunatumia hii sunken bend. Wakati mvua ikinyesha, tunapanda chakula kama sukuma wiki, cabbage, hmm, kitungu, ho, na chakula kingine ambazo akiwezi kikafumiria njiwa kwa mdamrefu. Lakini mvua ikinyesha, tukua tumepanda kwa hii side pit, kwa hii, kwa hii side, sunken bend, Ita, mwakati mvua ita, ita, itaisha maji tabaki kwa hii kwa hii sunken bend na itaendelea kukua ukitumia ile maji sababu maji ita, ita ya... kwa majina na ito lena kanani mimi ni mmoja wa kikundi ya mama sati selfel bibi eh bali nimesimama hapa ni mmoja wapo ya njia ambazo tumefunzwa sikiwa za water holding and retention na wa farms hii nimechimba hapa ni sunken bend Abai iko na muhimu wa kuzuia umomonyoko wa udongo kwa mashamba yetu. Pia inasaidia kushikilia maji kwa mashamba yetu. In the regions where water can be both scarce and overwhelming, farmers are also trained in constructing raised beds. These elevated beds ensure that water drains efficiently, preventing crops from being waterlogged in the event of heavy rainfall. One of the primary benefits of raised beds is the ability to improve drainage, particularly in areas with heavy clay soil or poor drainage condition. By elevating the soil, farmers are able to balance the extremes, protecting crops from drought and flooding. The most striking of this technique is the use of swells. Swells are shallow channels designed to manage water runoff, promote water retention, and play a crucial role in soil and water conservation. Typically formed in a concave shape, swells capture and slow down storm water flows, allowing water to percolate into the ground rather than running off as a surface water, which can lead to soil erosion and degradation. Swells help recharge groundwater supplies maintain moisture levels in the soil and improve the overall health of the ecosystem. In areas where rainfall is brief and intense, soils prevent valuable water from running off, ensuring it soaks deep into the ground to nourish crops for weeks to come. We end up to Kapundiswa training at Indep, Mambo Yakusimba Mtaro, a Masai feet, Masan can bend. Kwa sababu watu wengi ya wana vitu ya kutumia kupima mtaro, tuka someswa hii heprem ya kupima mtaro ya loko. Kwa sababu una ila ya kupima mtaro enyewe. Ilifanya hii, ndiyo natumia kupima mtaro. These techniques, zybids, terraces, cut-off ditches, sunken beds, raised beds, and soils are more than just innovation. 
they are lifelines. Lifelines that connect farmers to their land, restoring both their soil and their home. kwa shimo nimeweka multi inasaidia kushikiria maji isikauke haraka Through the concept of teach by showing and learn by doing Redep has empowered farmers to share their vision of water holding to take control of the environment unlocking the potential of their land in ways they have never thought possible In this region where water is life. These farmers have learned to harness every drop and making it sink into the ground, sustaining their crops, their families, and their future. With the support of Water School Africa and in partnership with Redeb, arid and semi-arid communities are transforming their farms and landscapes, one farm at a time. The movement of water retention has started with farmers. It is a spark, and this is fire spreading far and wide. With time, it will cover the whole of Africa. I have a lot of money for this school week because I have a lot of money for my children and I have a lot of money for my school fees. So, this outlet is for my school week or my school week. I have a lot of money for my school. Sweet potatoes hiyo outlet nimefunga hiyo pesa ina retain kwa mfuko wangu. Na kama ni mboga hii inatumia kwa sababu ya nyumba yangu watoto wanakula mama anakula hata na kuna kidogo ana pesa anapata anakula na kari ama chumvi na maziwa. Hiyo nyumba inakawa sawa sawa. Na asante sana. Kwa bibi yangu naweza hawezi kuenda kutafuta sokoni huko. Hiyo pesa ingetumia hivyo angefanya naye kazi. Na nimeanza kula hii sukuma yangu. Na siendangi kwa soko kununua. Ndio naona imenisaidia kwa sababu siendi kupeleka pesa zangu huko kwa soko kununua greens. Naomba kwa fadhili wa Redep waendelee kutufunza na ninawashukuru kwa hiyo masomo wamekuja nayo na still kama kuna kitu kingine muhimu ama kinachoweza kusaidia wa mama watufunze tupate zaidi. Mimi ningesema kwa Redep na mwipadi wa hii mrandi ni kuwashukuru sana. Kwa hii njia wametufunza tunaona ina manufaa kwa mashamba yetu na itatusaidia katika maisha yetu. Mimi nashukuru wenye wanatufundisha mambo ya hii mtaro kushimba. Na shukuru Redep na mwenye anahifadhi hii imano ya mtaro. Wanakuja wanatufunza vyanza simba. Tunawashukuru tazimba mingi katika mashamba yetu. Nashukuru sana kikundi cha Redep sababu ndio wamekuja na hii brand wakatufunza na huku kwetu hakuna maji. Tunatumianga maji ya mvua na ndio tunangoja na ikikuja tunapanda hiyo kitu na ndio ikisha tunacho tukifura hiyo chakula. This is the story of hope and promise. It is a story that tells the present generation can save soils and bequeath the coming generations good arable farms. It is a story of farmers reclaiming their land. Yes, it is a story of water retention on farms and landscapes.